Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining this webinar. I'm so psyched to get the download or the upload or just the information that Paige has to share with us because Paige has been such an amazing coach to so many people. Thousands of people have been affected and in inspired and influenced and just effectively transformed by what Paige has offered. So Paige, I wanted to quickly introduce you. You have a great success story. You've generated over $236,000 in sales um, using Dub, using pocket video funnels. What is a pocket video funnel? We're gonna get into that. And we'd love to make this as actionable as possible. I know you have some visuals, but please start with a short bio and let's get right into this. Yeah, absolutely. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, my name is Paige Batcher. I'm actually here with my co-coach as well, Lynn Schusler williams Hello, Lynn. Welcome. I've got some slides to show you a little bit more about what I'm up to, but I think the basic thing you need to know is I am a huge software and tech nerd. When I found out about Dub. I had already been doing website design and digital marketing, building systems for clients for over eight years. Found out about them a couple of years ago and it absolutely changed the game. The reason why we call them pocket video funnels is because they convert really high as sales funnels and you can make them using the phone in your pocket. Nice. Great. So you have some, some slides. Maybe just jump right in. Yeah, that would be perfect. Of course. Thank you. That'll be awesome. I also understand how easy it can be to be completely distracted. So I'm going to ask you to kind of uh, carve out some time here to really pay attention. Um, and let me present this, put this in pre presentation mode here. So this was the very beautiful and shiny graphic. Thank you so much to Dub. I just want to give my my massive appreciation to, uh, you know, Ruben, Rob, Darius, Ina, the whole crew, because what they've created here is truly fundamental to everything that I've been able to do over the last couple of years. And I'm super excited to get in. So we have this very gold, shiner, shiny amount of money that I want to make sure I cover. And most importantly, I want you to leave here today understanding how to do this for yourself because what's more important here and the reason why I've teamed up with this woman here, Lynn Schusler williams is because we want to show you how to grow your sales. It's cool that, you know, we've used this to make money, but it's even better when it's making you money. And so we're breaking it down into three steps so that you can fill your sales pipeline with ease without being complicated, right? Without all the complicated tech, which I have definitely built in over the years and without feeling salesy and spammy. Put a yes in the chat if that sounds good to you. If you want things to be just a little bit easier, especially if you're um, really just getting gearing up and you know in that mode where you're ready to scale. Um, so we polled people and um, this was a poll that went through. So I'm curious, put A, B or C in the chat. Are you currently using video? A, you're recording sometimes, but you're super inconsistent. B, you're recording videos a bunch, but you're not making any sales. Like you might be kind of on Instagram every day, but you're just not generating any sales from your video effort. Or C, you're not recording, but you really know you need to for your business. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of A's. Um, so that kind of like inconsistency. Thank you guys. I appreciate your participation. A and B, a couple of C's. B, some sales. Awesome. So that is what we are here to talk about is not just video for video's sake, but videos and video funnels, videos that convert into sales. This is just my curiosity too, because I always love to know what's most challenging for you. If you said you were in that category of being inconsistent or not recording at all, is it A, knowing what to say? Like you're nervous on camera, you freeze up, you feel like a robot. Is it B, the technology and recording and sharing, like you're shuffling between a bunch of different tools or you're not really sure where to record and you just, it's just kind of all a little bit overwhelming. Do you feel like it's time consuming or is it just simply you're just not hitting record? Like that's the most challenging part is hitting that, seeing the little blinky red light or the green light turned on and you don't know what to do. Um, let's get, I like that. Owen says ABC. That's great. Okay. So I'm seeing a little bit of actually a mix of everything, which is exciting. Um, getting my videos delivered and viewed. Okay. That's cool. Good news is you guys are in great shape when it comes to the technology. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk through that. This last part, this is super important to me and I, it should be important to you. Ruben told me and shared this with me that about less, and correct me if I'm wrong, Ruben, but I think you said less than 10% of dub users that have the automation plan are actually building workflows, which means that 80 to 90% of businesses don't actually have automations in place. So which one describes your business right now? Do you have 
automated messages going out, automated videos, automated emails, automated SMS. You have other things that are automating your business and buying your time back. If you're saying B for no, you're you're not alone. That's that's the majority of business owners. And that's one of the things that I am super passionate about is putting you ahead of the curve. So who would like to be, you know, ahead of 90% of other businesses and giving you your time back? Because I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely adore having a lifestyle uh, business. I love having the ability to wake up when I want to wake up, go and work from anywhere with a laptop. And that is what I'm set out to do. And building automations can help you achieve that with even more ease. So if any of this rings a bell, you can just type yes in the chat or drop a little emoji. But if you've ever been stuck trying to create fancy websites or sales funnels, either hiring agencies, freelancers, or just tinkering all day on the most perfect website, but it's not really paying off, right? If, you, if that has, feels like you, just put a yes in the chat. If you're not sure what to say on camera, if you're telling yourself you don't have the right equipment, um, if you're putting videos out there, but you're not making any sales, or if you know you need video, but you're just not doing it, if any of those, okay, I'm seeing, I'm seeing definitely some people saying yes, yes, yes. So that's good because that means that you're in the right place. And you're especially the right person who's aligned for doing this if you run a relationship-driven business. Who in here needs to talk to somebody before they buy from you? If the, if you say yes, then you this is absolutely for you. Um, if you're making sales sporadically, but you need a system, and if you're ready to finally create automations and put yourself ahead of 90% of business owners, this is for you. So, um, and especially if you are someone who values simplicity, and I cannot wait for you to hear from Lynn, um, cause she is one of those people. And, um, that's super, super important to me to have her here. So before, um, before I go too far, I want you guys to know the three-step process and the goals for today's um, webinar. Number one, I'm going to show you the pocket video formula for fast and simple sales. All of you have come here because you have been a part of Dub's email list for some time. Um, actually, put a uh, put a one in the chat if you're a current user, you're using Dub, or put a two in the chat if you're still on a free trial or you're no longer on a trial and you know you need to just get back into it. Okay, I'm seeing a ton of ones. A couple of twos, mostly ones. Perfect. So you guys are in the right place. And I'm here to share some ideas with you that I hope you walk away with and go, oh, wow. Um, those are unique ideas that I haven't been using dub for. And I feel inspired to go do this to generate more sales. If that sounds good to you guys, like thumbs up and we're let's, let's rock and roll. Number two, I'm going to show you what to actually say on video to generate sales. And number three, we're going to discuss the big three automations that you need to scale your efforts with a less amount of time, right? We've all heard like a ton about AI. I have an entirely different presentation about AI, but I'm going to focus on automations because automations are what can keep you being you and you being authentic and human, and they can buy your time back. So um, there's a lot of words on this. I'm going to skip through this because I'm really excited to show you guys what you're going to see. I think if you're in this room, you understand how important video is. When was the last time you bought something? Think through it. How many, have you watched a video this morning already? Have you seen a video today? Video, um, according to Cisco, accounts for 82% of all internet traffic, right? That's how we're actually preferring to learn these days. Um, and this video and consumption increased 15X in the last five years. So it's not slowing down, it's speeding up. And this means that without video, you will lose out on the majority of online traffic. There's a couple of other things I want you to consider as well. Oh, sorry guys, this is this is a, a little washed out, but this is a medium.com quote. And it says, according to studies, the average viewer remembers 95% of a message when it's watched, whereas only 10% when it's read. Think about the amount of body language, tonality, information you understand when you watch a video versus having to read a long blog post or article. Not only that, but can we all admit, can I get like a... Absolutely. If this makes sense to you, the human connection is more important than ever before. We're competing with artificial intelligence. We're living in a day and age in an era where we came off of years of feeling quarantined and isolated. Human connection is so important. And we're living in a day and age where there's so much competition and noise on in the marketplace that if you're not human, if you're not authentic, if you sound salesy or spammy, you are going to fall behind quickly, right? We all need and want to feel more connected. In fact, it's the one of the key key um, determinants of how long we live in our lives as to whether or not we are connected to other humans. 
I, I'm going to show you some case studies so that you understand that I've been helping clients do this. And Lynn and I have seen a lot of success in the last couple of years. And I'm going to show you a couple where these aren't just people who are, you know, cute as a button, 26 year olds that are out there on TikTok every day. This is David. He left his corporate job after 20 years. He was getting started as an entrepreneur. We all know that that first year can equal failure or just um, basically not even breaking even if you're not careful. And he basically, I told him, I said, David, don't focus on a website. I want you to focus on video outreach and building these video funnels. You can do it from your computer or you can do it from your phone and create these pocket video funnels. He used it to book calls, um, ended up with 12K recurring months within six months of working together. And he landed a huge partnership with the Chamber of Commerce. This is Tammy. Tammy was super nervous. Anybody nervous on camera? She was super nervous. She was hiring freelancers left and right. She was trying to get them to do things. She was investing in her website. She was building these big funnels. She was building channel uh, challenges. She was paying for Facebook and Google ads, et cetera, right? And it was when she started using the power of story and some of the things I'm going to share with you in just a moment and using dub video and little video funnels that she landed more clients with ease. She started having to step away from our mastermind calls and I could see her because she was closing sales. Um, and so she just basically said this helped her quicker than ever before. So for those of you guys who haven't seen me before, my name is Paige Batcher. Um, I am a huge nerd. Uh, I'm a massive traveler and I've been running my own agency since 2013. I've been building websites, sales funnels, graphics, branding, right? Um, and Here's just a glance at some of the things that I've built and some of the clients that we've built for. So I'm building, 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 and fast forward, we're getting a ton of client wins. We had an $86,000 first launch of a training program um, for a real estate investing group, uh, 100,000 in donations in two weeks when we launched Yacht Aid Global's functionality for crowdfunding. It was insane. I, it was the first time I realized that web design could truly change lives and save lives. Um, national branding recognition, like big wins, right? But here's what we were doing. Not every client needed complicated funnels. And so we were getting client wins, but in a lot of cases, it was unnecessarily complicated for those who didn't need that advanced complication yet, right? They needed sales. That's what they really needed. Because the truth of the matter is, is it was a complicated process. It was a 32 step checklist to build a funnel and it took three weeks to fully set up. Fast forward to simple. It takes me five minutes to sketch my idea and 15 minutes to build a dub video funnel. Like, can I get a yes in the chat? If you're like, yes, I would like to have speed of implementation, test out my new ideas, create funnels on my own and generate more sales, right? And I'm gonna show you what kind of sales this is for, right? Cause I know you guys are in this room cause we put a really big number in the, in the email subject line. But this is an example of it, a video page, and I'm going to show you how you already know if you have dub, how simple it is. It's created instantly. You put a call to action button on it. You can create a dub form to take people to the next step. It can redirect to another video landing page. And that is taking people through the buying journey. So this became so, so simple. And it, it changed everything for me. Honestly, it built trust faster than long form copy. I went, I basically started hitting 20K months with zero ad spend just by hitting record, hitting record, hitting record, and using five minutes to sketch my idea and 15 minutes to set it up. So here are these big numbers. I've used these simple video funnels to close over 236,000 in sales in a really short amount of time. And I started asking myself, okay, well, if it works for closing a web design sale or a big consulting sale, what about affiliate offers? What about making a sale to something that I don't even own? It's not even my product. I just want to recommend it. Well, this 10 minute video where I didn't put on any makeup, I'm in my bedroom. I just told a story and it resulted in $43,000 without any ad spend. I call this a bridge video. It bridges uh, your knowledge and your story into someone else's offer. I thought, well, hey, will this work for coaching offers? And that was when in 2020, I decided to launch a coaching program to help people understand how to use authenticity in video. Look at these videos. See how I'm wearing the exact same shirt? <laughs> um, but I'm very animated because of that animated GIF. I'm always throwing my hands up in the air. I'm always trying to, you know, get that animated GIF to, to grab some attention. Would you spend you know, yes or no, would you spend two hours sending out personalized videos to generate $3,500? I'm really curious. If, if some of you are like, no way, 
no way my time is worth way more than over what is that $1,700 an hour. I'm then okay, respect, but would you spend that amount of time and the momentum of this and creating videos around this coaching offer created, you know, went on to create six figures in sales for this coaching um, offer. So simple, <laughs> right? Simple from complicated to simple. And I will say just so everybody's hearing me, there's a time and a place for complicated. There's a time and a place for more advanced automation systems. And I currently build those for clients today, but we always, always, always incorporate dub video and incorporate video into the messaging. So by simply hitting record, it changed everything. I told you in 2020, I brought on, or I decided to launch this to help people get into gear and get into action to generate more money from these video funnels rather than building out something complicated if they weren't ready for it yet. <laughs> and I, it was an honor and a privilege to bring in Lynn. And I wanted to have her share a few words about who she is, why she even decided to join me on this journey and what it's meant for her as well. Absolutely, Paige. Listen, I could not be more grateful for the day I went to a networking event and Paige Badger was the speaker about using video and building video funnels. And I was at that place in my business when I knew I was supposed to be using video, but I didn't really want to. <laughs> like every time I did a video and I'd done a few, I was just so uh, like, no, this is not fun and I don't want to do this. And, you know, I'd had, you can see all these credentials, right? I have an MBA. I've done a bunch of sales coaching for over a decade. I had a 20 plus year sales and sales training uh, corporate career, but I'm telling you, this changed everything for me. And you'll see some numbers here in a minute from, from my last three years with Dub. But, uh, you know, Paige talks about how you can go from being that person who doesn't use video all the way to um, being just a rock star with it. And, and I'm the queen of simple. Like, I don't want it to be complex. If it's too complex, I'm not even going to try. So this is what you're going to hear today is what changed everything for me, for sure. And I'm super grateful for Paige Batcher. There's no question about that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lynn. Um, and I'm super grateful for you as well, because what we've been able to do together has really helped um, a lot of people with this process. So um, if you're on here and you're giving me your attention and you're not, you know, simultaneously feeding your hamster or watching Netflix, will you put a yes in the chat if you will commit to some simple sales of video funnels? If you know you want to at least start hitting 10K months without worrying about all the complicated stuff, this is your path. And I want I want you to be doing this. I mean, if you're not even making multiple millions a year yet, this is the path. This is the process. It, it, okay. All right. Let's get into it. Number one. Thank you so much for your all's participation. Um, number one, right. The pocket video formula, or you might hear me say mini video uh, funnels, right. It's, this is the formula for fast and simple sales. Here are the biggest mistakes. So be thinking about whether or not you're doing these. It's thinking you need a complicated funnel. There's a lot of one funnel away challenges and getting the perfect psychological copy and building out this huge robust landing page and ask yourself, do you even really read those pages? <laughs> or do you need something to actually build you more trust? That's why I want you to start thinking video first. Um, you might be spending all your time building a website, but it's getting zero sales uh, conversions or you're putting videos out there, but they don't have a clear call to action. And you just really need some support on that. So with pocket video funnels, I want to break these down. It's two to four. It could be two pages. It could be more pages. Uh, the simplest is a two page funnel. It's video landing pages that are linked together. They're taking people through a value add trust building process. Your goal are leads, clients, testimonials, et cetera. Things that are moving the needle for revenue for you, right? Not just entertaining content on social media that's getting your brand out there. These are these are conversion funnels. So how does this work? How does it look? You've got audience, right? AKA people. You've got people that are on all the socials, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, X, whatever they want to rename all these social platforms to. They've got they're on social media. They're on your existing email database. They're at your in-person networking events. They're on traditional media, although we don't focus a lot on that because the power of implementation here on social uh, or on online is so much faster, but these are where people are. So where are you taking them? 
you're taking them to a video landing page. You're taking them to a dub landing page. If you're here and you've, you've put together a dub landing page before, I think, I think that's like 90% of the audience here in the room. So, um, that is pretty exciting. You've got your, it's, it's simple. Here's the reason why it works is because it's simple. How many times have you like put a, put a definitely in the chat. If you've ever been on a website where you were so overwhelmed by all the things to look at and read that you just bounced, you just bounced right off. I mean, the average website bounce rate is like 95%, right? Yeah. Because you're just, you don't have the energy for it. You're taking people's precious energy and their very short attention span, and you need to get them to take the next step. So that's the idea here. What makes it a funnel? You link it to the next page. Guess what that page can be? A dub video page. You guys catching this, like how simple this can be? If you use a form to connect these two pages, you're now building your email list. What can you do with that? You can follow up with email and SMS with more video providing value. And these landing pages are created instantly. I wasn't sure if I needed to do a, um, a demo or not, but uh, let, let's move on. We can always come back to that because I think the majority of you guys have already created this. You understand that when you hit record and you finish recording, this landing page, this has a URL. It's a it's an active published web page. And within a couple of clip, clicks, you can add a button. You can customize it with your own logo. You can put a button on it. And when you connect two of these pages, you've got yourself a funnel. So if you're not aware already, the dub, landing, the dub platform will allow you to create these instant landing page, embed your calendars, do forms and registrations, which is what can connect these two together. It can manage your contacts and your deal flow. I know I move fast guys, but hopefully you're keeping up. It can, it can help you collect payments. It can automate the follow-up. Like all, this platform alone can do all of this. I don't know. I mean, how many in here are you like, I get it. I know it. I already know all the features. Do you guys know that this can do all of this stuff? Do you know that your call to action possibilities include all of these things? <laughs> like our the amazing team at Dove has built out more things than you can even imagine to put together in order to connect multiple Dub pages so that you have funnels, right? And that funnel experience is building trust right? Okay, cool. So I'm seeing dub is fantastic. Um, love my dub. I love that. Not using automations. You're not alone. 90% of businesses are not. <laughs> um, so let's get you there. That's going to be number three in our presentation right here. Here are the types of videos. Screenshot this if you want that will generate leads and sales. Offer videos. I, I call these an offer brief. We walk through in detail what you should include in an offer brief. And I'm going to cover a little bit of that um, coming up a VSL or a video sales letter, webinars like this, right? Proposal videos. Who here does a consulting type service or offers a service-based offer? Are you doing proposal videos? When you send off your proposal, are you attaching a video along with it? Prospecting videos. Are you reaching out to the people who are closest to the, the hole, so to speak, like a golf terminology? Like if, if you just need to put it in, are you taking the time to create personalized prospecting videos? case studies, testimonials, trainings, right? A lot of people want to do that free lead magnet, the PDF, right? Downloadable. And those are great. I get tons of leads all the time for those. Um, but also video trainings are really, really powerful because it teaches and trains people more and it builds more trust or audits and personalized feedback. How many of you could offer value before people even jump on a call with you to pitch your higher ticket services? So the truth behind this formula of connecting dub pages, right, with those calls to action, with forms, is that it's not about dancing on TikTok. It's about having sales conversations, right? It's about sales conversions and about creating the right types of videos that take people from cold lead to, yes, I want to spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars with you, right? Um, or whatever your service may be. Maybe it's a two thousand dollar offer. Whatever it is, this can do that for you. And it's having personalized suggestions that help you build momentum. What do I mean by that? Have you ever recorded something and you thought, man, I just wish somebody could watch this and tell me how to make this video better? Put a yes in the chat if you recorded something in the last month that you thought, I wish I had somebody to watch this and tell me how to make this better. And to me, that is essential in this process is getting that kind of feedback because it builds momentum. And then of course, the thing I was talking about is like speed of implementation creates profit. There was a Forbes article that talked about 
complexity erodes profitability faster than anything else. That's why I think Lynn said it, queen of simple. Like this is this is why we're doing this because you can you can test things quicker. And if you like it, you can build out more robust systems around it. So this is an example of these the, the notion that when you build a pocket video funnel, it's about the right kind of sales assets, not just an entertaining video, not something that you would see on Instagram, right? So I helped Sky, who's uh, in Australia, actually, go from charging $100 per session, posting consistently on Instagram, to creating one video presentation and one little video funnel that sold a $2,500 signature offer. She sent me a, a video a couple of months later because she was taking time off to enjoy her pregnancy. And she said the video sold the program for her. She made 20K in sales in a couple of weeks. Who here would like to do that? Like to me, I'm, this is just tip of the iceberg. That's just, that's just implementing this idea once. All right. You guys still with me? Is everybody still with me? You guys feeling good? Take a stretch if you need it. Stand up or give it a little dance or something. Okay. <laughs> I tend to move really fast. This is number two. So we just talked about number one, what, how does this all work? Why should they be plugged together? Why should they be videos that are helping people move through your buying process? This is number two, tip number two for you. What to actually say on these videos to generate sales, right? Biggest mistakes, okay? Thinking you need a perfect script. Who here has done that, been there? Cool thing is Dub now has an AI uh, assistant within the dashboard and you can use AI to write yourself a transcript. You can put that on the teleprompter. You can read it. But who here has put that perfect script ahead of actually hitting record? Because imperfect action, taking action is better than not taking action at all. And if you're procrastinating, right, you're not getting there. And if you think it has to be a perfect script, chances are you're probably sounding a little bit robotic, right? Um, another biggest mistake is trying to have confidence instead of being yourself and evolving in the process. People think that confidence comes, you know, like, oh, when I feel confident, I'm going to show up on camera. Reality is when you show up on camera over and over and over again, you start to develop confidence, right? Um, and when you give yourself permission to actually be yourself, that's what can make a big difference. So another big, huge mistake, not making clear offers, not telling stories, you know, not even having a call to action. A lot of people will do that. You'll get to the end of an amazing video. Everyone's so captivated. And then you fall off. You get really awkward about asking for the next thing. Is that anybody guilty on that one? Um, and that's okay. Uh, with clear offers, like anything is absolutely possible. So I want you to think about your offer. Drop in the chat. What do you offer? Um, just, just give, put a couple of words in there. Is it a consulting offer? Is it a services offer? Um, what do you offer? Are you clear about it? <laughs> um, do you have a signature offer? Do you understand what you're offering? Oh, Joe, crushing it with the with the absolute uh, full on response. It's amazing, awesome. Um, this is cool. So he he's got some clarity there. What about you guys? Do you have clarity on your signature offer, right? And can you tell stories to help people? All right, here's what I want you to to take into consideration when you are trying to figure out what to say. First thing we kind of go through in our in our mentorship program is story types. Because you're you're probably out there kind of just telling the facts. Here's the thing I have. Here's do you want it? Look at all these shiny fancy features. But you're forgetting to tell stories because it's stories that captivates the human heart and people even though later they'll explain that they bought something logically they bought it emotionally. They were connected to you emotionally. Um, I've got a, a really dear friend who always says, if, when your stories become your audience's stories, that's when you know you've made it, right? Then you know they're relating to you and they're seeing themselves in that story so that they can get that kind of transformation. So these are four categories. We could go a lot deeper on this, but I want to move you forward to something incredibly important. I just want you to be thinking about uh, the notion of shared legacy. Why are you out here doing what you're doing? Why do you even care that you're doing it? Why are you selling what you're selling? Everybody's always asking themselves that. Why do you Why do you want me to get on that call with you? Why are you selling this thing? A shared legacy is your reason for wanting to serve them so that it serves you, so that it serves the world, right? Uh, your offer stories and offer assets. How did you uh, dis determine the way things are put together in your offer? Why are they positioned that way? Um, do you have clear videos that actually express what you sell? Let me get a little uh, vote in the chat here. 
give me um give me an A if you have a video that explains exactly what your signature offer does, who it's for, who it's helped, and and what is included in your offer, or give me a B if you haven't created that yet. And I'm really curious. Okay, all right, I'm seeing. I'm seeing quite a few bees come in. I appreciate you guys so much for, you know, actually being willing to say that. And that's okay. I went through years of not having that. Guess what happens then? You scramble around on Zoom calls or sales calls. You end up offering things that are kind of outside of what you really intended on offering. You just, you're losing that clarity and you're leaking that energy. And the other thing that happens when you have an offer video to fully explain what you have is that sales can happen in your sleep. And that is really important. Okay. Case studies and testimonials and allegory stories. Allegory stories real quickly. An allegory is something that's seemingly unrelated, but you can tie it back to your offer. That could be stories about pop culture, things that are trending, right? Things things from uh, music, things from, things from life that people can relate to. Walking through the grocery store and you bring it back around to your offer. Okay, we could spend an entire session on that and on this, but I need to push forward. So this is the Kismet story arc. It's basically a way that you can tell this story that builds real humility and builds and bridges connection by being authentic. This is the key essential part of it because it's very easy to tell a story where it's all sunshine and roses. How many of you guys have seen these YouTube ads or videos online that are just like, I made a million dollars in a blink of an eye and I can help you do it too. And there's nothing really humble about it at all. There's nothing really that tells you the truth behind it, that every single entrepreneur goes through their own valley and must, you know, get to the other side, right? So um, here's what I want to encourage you with as you're telling these stories and as you're being real and connecting with people. I want you to write these down because, uh, yeah, Andrew says good, good stories need conflict. Absolutely. It's kind of like the hero's journey. It's, you know, it's, that's that part, um, that builds and bridges even more connection between people before you tell them, here's how I overcame that. And here's why I want to help you. All right. So write these down. There are three light bulbs that when these go off in people's heads, you have created a perspective shift that will, uh, help them take action. Light bulb number one, I'm going to move through these pretty quickly, but write them down. Your framework or your methodology. How does the framework of what you're offering help them to solve their problems or reach their goals? You need to cover this almost immediately. People don't like to buy same. They want to buy something unique, something special. What about your method? What about the reason why you do the things you do? Right? Why do I? Why do I have certain processes in my agency when we build, take on a new, um, you know, automations or systems building or website building client? I have specific frameworks for how I do things because I've learned over the last 10 years. I've seen what works. I've seen what doesn't work, right? I have unique frameworks for that. Why do we have unique frameworks in our coaching and mastermind program? Because we've invested in the things that didn't work. So we changed up that framework. And when you can explain these to your audience, they all of a sudden go, wow, this is really unique. And it's very thought out. I believe that this can help me, which leads me to light bulb number two. That's the outer world. This is where you dive into the questions your audience has. Does this work for others out there in the world? The easiest way to turn on this light bulb is by sharing case studies, sharing testimonials, sharing examples in the real world. If you don't feel like you have a case study to share, you can at least go point to somebody who's using the same framework or methodology that you're looking to serve people with, and you can use them as an outer world example, even if they're not your own client. Now, don't lie to anybody. Be honest and, and be transparent. You can also use yourself. Yourself as an example could be the outer world uh, case study that people need to see. All right, you guys with me so far? I hope so. Inner light bulb number three, inner world. This is missed so so often. These are the inner gremlins. This is that little. You guys know the uh, the little uh, devil and the little angel on the shoulder, and the angel's like, "You're the best, Paige. You can do it. Go, girl." And then the devil's like. You're never going to amount to anything. You know, you, you tripped on your way up the stairs this morning, like whatever it is, right? This is that little devil that's speaking to them. They go, oh, that's so great for you and for David and Sky and all your other clients. But I couldn't actually do this. I'm too lazy. I invested in another mastermind program already. I don't know. I, I don't think that this is going to work for me. I'm not sure if I have the discipline. I'm not, whatever it may be, right? Um, I've been burned before. I got that a lot when, when people would hire me as a web designer. Oh, I've been burned before, right? These are those inner gremlins that you have to speak to. 
And it's really easy to forget these. And with that, when you get this last third light bulb, that's how I've seen clients do, you know, an $87,000 launch, you know, a $27,000 afternoon, right? Like this one, don't forget this. Okay. Um, cool. Thanks, Lynn, for putting that in there. So yeah, those are the three light bulbs just as a, a little um, kind of show again of what that means. And the, the biggest thing to think about in these videos is what, you, what would you actually say to people in person? Remember when I asked you if you would like a video to be reviewed? Lynn and I review videos every single week for our clients. Um, and most typically, we, we basically mirror back. We go, Roland, I know how you actually talk in person. That's not really what you would say in person. Why did you add on all those crazy buzzwords? And why did you make it such a formal sentence? Like it, you're not Yoda here, like you're yourself. And if you were sitting across from a table in coffee, well, how would you say it? And so that's the power of getting that feedback because really when you say it, like you would say it in person, that, and then you build in automations to get these videos in front of more people, that is what builds more trust because it's just more conversations with you it just happens to be kind of one-sided. So the truth of this, of knowing what to actually say on video is that with a framework, it helps you show up your, as yourself. And by taking in perfect action, you're building confidence and it allows you to ask for the sale with more effectiveness because you've turned on those light bulbs. I know we've covered so much just in this little nugget alone, but can I get like a um, absolutely or, or a yes or a maybe if this is actually helping you, if, if this is resonating, and you're like, wow, I could, I need to start putting this in my video content. <laughs> Rubens is abs. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Okay, good, good. That's my goal. That's, that's our goal for you guys. Here's another example. This is Michelle. She told me, she was like, well, I don't have my website up yet. I said, I don't care. You don't need your website to be a human being and go offer some service. I said, you need to turn on these three light bulbs. Can you do that? Can you send out some videos? She picked out five people she would possibly want to work with. Five people, that's it. And she sent them videos. And one of them became a $31,000 client. Michelle did not have a website. You guys hearing me on this? You guys seeing how powerful this can be? She didn't send off a TikTok video. She sent off a full on offer video. Here's what I think. Here's how I can help you. Here's what this is for. Here's my unique methodology. Here's how it works for other people. You know what I'm seeing? Like this kind of stuff. When you have these elements in your videos, you can't go wrong. And she could have spent weeks, weeks building a funnel, trying to get this whole magical shebang put together instead of actually just going directly for the sale. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, thanks. RJ said inspiring. Great. Just moment. Yeah, I know she's, it was just phenomenal. Cause she just kept pushing back. Well, I mean, I need my website. I, need my, I said, Michelle, if you don't record some videos. <laughs> um, so she did. And that's, that's what came of it. All right. Number three, you guys is the automations. You need to scale your efforts. We just, in our mastermind call yesterday, we were talking about how like not only are 90% of business owners not building automations, but when you start to think about them, your head like starts like emitting a little bit of steam, <laughs> you know, and then you get stuck and frozen and analysis paralysis. Cause you're just like, I don't know, this is too complicated. My brain is not wired like this. Right. And to me, you, it's the same thing as everything I'm saying here. You got to start simple before you can move into boom, more complicated. Right. i like we have a robust automation system we just launched for a client this year that took about a hundred hours to build. Guess where you need to start first? Simple, right? Um, so the biggest mistakes I see around automations is you're not building a list, which I think we have solved with number one here by putting forms to connect video pages and to take people further by joining your list. Um, you're not automating any of the follow-up. And then you're overcomplicating it. You're trying to get like the perfect template or you're trying to download people's perfect templates and you're not putting your own stories in there. You're not putting your own case studies in there. You know, you're just wanting it to all just be kind of like done and done for you, or you're just not doing anything because you think it's complicated. The truth of the matter is, is that people need six to 16 touch points before making a buying decision, right? Um, oh, I like that question here. Sorry, guys, if I'm not catching all of the chat, we can do a little more Q and A at the end. But Francois said, "Where did where did Michelle post this video? She sent it directly to those human beings. She was just a human being connecting with human beings, um, and then that's what created those sales." Now here we're talking about automations and automations can help you take a personalized conversation and then automate the follow-up because on average you need six to, I've heard it six to 16, but this says six to, to 12 because this one was from the Harvard Business Review, but I heard Tony Robbins on stage say it takes 16 touch points before people will make a buying decision. 
Sometimes it's more. It really depends on the industry, right? The stakes the involved, the sales price point, a lot of things, right? Um, but are you building these in? Or are you just constantly putting on post-it notes that you need to follow up with so-and-so, right? And here's the part I think where some people get it wrong. They think, oh, I just don't want to bug anybody. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to follow all this. I don't want it to be too automated. Well, if you are putting videos into your automated follow-up, you can't be robotic. It can't feel like spam. It's you as a human, as long as you get really good at practicing being you as a human on camera. And have you ever felt so busy that you were grateful when someone followed up on something you knew you wanted to take action on, but you just didn't get to it yet? Remind yourself of that because we're all doing our best to try and juggle it all. So you are helping your pr pr prospect and even your client by following up. So this is kind of what it looks like, right? One-on-one -on -one personalized outreach, turning it into one-to-many outreach and automated nurturing, right? Also known as drip campaigns, also known as automations, right? And then you can move you can move on to building more complicated things, you know, things with web hooks and APIs. And we can geek out about it. Trust me, I, I'm happy to. Um, but you know, it's about starting with simple. These are the big three. If you want to write these down, so you can just think to yourself, what do I need for prospecting? When somebody joins my list right? What do I need to do to follow up in order to prospect them? When somebody becomes a client, what do I need to do in order to onboard them? When somebody is, uh, you know, sort of ending that project with you or ending their time with you or their commitment with you, what do you need to do to take them to the next step? I call it next boarding because offboarding sounds like you're getting rid of them and like kicking them out the house forever. You're 18, move out, right? Um, next boarding is like, testimonials, reviews. Hey, by the way, did you know we offer this other complimentary service? Hey, by the way, did you know you could fly it to Greece with me on this retreat? That's next boarding. That's the ability to say, here's what's next, right? So start with simple. I remember when I, I got on a call with Darius one time and I said, Darius, show me your most effective automation. I was, I was expecting this workflow to look like all these branches of if then and webhook this and that. He shows it to me and it's just tag the contact, send a message, wait, send the next message, wait, send the next message, wait, right? So if you don't even have this in place, let's go, let's go. Imagine how much of your time this will, this will bring you back when you know all of these things are happening automated. Dub has this automated workflow builder. It gets better and better all the time, especially with what us users request and ask for. As you build it, you can actually see the statistics on what's working, who's clicking, who's watching, who's opening. That allows you to measure and address. So the truth behind these big three automations, as I call them, right, is that they're only as complicated as you make them. And you're probably just procrastinating because you really want someone to just say, hey, Here's what you can do. Here's what you can do. Here's what you can do. So my truth is with personalized feedback, you can create follow-up messages that are unique to your voice. And that is an example of what Lynn and I did with Jessica because she already had an automated fully text only nurture sequence, drip sequence, auto sequence, right? We said, let's put video in each and every one of those. And because she added video in each and every one of those, she booked 20 discovery calls, closed five figures in sales in a few weeks, right? She said people will get on the phone with her and they're like, I didn't know you had three kids. I have three kids. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm getting to meet a celebrity. Oh, I feel like I know you, right? Those kind of things, those make your sales so much easier, right? So whether you're building from scratch or you already have some things in place, adding video and getting personalized feedback. So Lynn and I sat with her and we sketched out, okay, email number one, here's the light bulb you need to turn on. Email number two, here's that case study you're gonna share. We ask those questions to dig out, like to understand her business uniquely and her, her unique take on what she does. Um, so Lynn, I wanted to have you share as well, your thoughts on automations and really just using the stub system and what it's meant for you. Yeah. So I want to say this about those three buckets that you saw, the three circles, prospecting and onboarding and next boarding. If you take nothing away from this webinar, but the idea of those three things, not only as automation buckets, right? It's, it's invaluable just as that, but you know, from a sales coach point of view, really thinking about what are your prospecting activities? What are your onboarding and what are your next boarding and integrating video into all of those, right? It, it, that I've watched that change 
businesses, just absolutely focusing on those three things is just golden. So what you're looking at here are screenshots from today on my dub um, dashboard. So you're seeing 2,388 videos. I signed up for dub right at three years ago and had done maybe three videos in my life. <laughs> and okay. so now almost 2,400, they've been watched 34,000 times. Okay, are you getting that? 34,000 views and the call to actions, the little buttons below my videos have been clicked 9,700 times on 2,300 videos. And if you look in that little statistics box, my email click rate, this is an all time statistic. So this goes back to my beginning of dub, 20% email click rate. Now Paige, you know, what is it? Like one to 4%, two to 5% is right. your average for email mm -hmm. click rates, right? 20% email click rate. And that's because I'm not just taking video and posting it places. Video is an integrated part of how I communicate with my prospects, with my clients, with my former clients, with my referral partners, with my affiliates, right? It is integrated into everything I do. And that's what, how you get these kind of numbers, right? And saving time with automation is another thing that's so important. I couldn't do a third of what I do if I had to manually reply to every little thing, but I'm proud to be in that top 10% of people who are using automations on dub. And I've never used automations before I had dub because it was always too much, too complex too, but it has just changed everything for me. So there you go. Those are my numbers from today. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, so much here, so much goodness. And to recap, um, these are your big takeaways from today. We want to go so much deeper with you. So, um, we hope you'll stick around. I want to make sure that you're in our worlds. You have more resources from us, but this is the pocket video formula, right? It gets to be simple. When you connect them with forms, you're building your email list. You can build in all of this stuff, understanding what to say on those videos right? And getting that personalized feedback can be a really big game changer. And then the big three automations, you need to scale your efforts without scaling your time. Um, and if it's all right with you guys, uh, I know you've probably been on a ton of webinars before where they make an offer at the end. If it's all right with you guys, I would love to share with you what, why we created what we created to help you get faster and easier results. Um, drop a yes in the chat if you're open and just kind of hearing for the next five, six minutes about how we can possibly help you. Um, this is something I've been passionate about and just, um, absolutely honored that, that, uh, the guys at dub have allowed us to, to really help their dub users get the most out of this platform. Um, because the way I look at it, like entrepreneurship can be a lonely game, <laughs> uh, right. You're trying to fan your own fire. You're trying to make it all happen. You're trying to stay self-motivated. You're trying to try you're, you're second guessing everything you're creating. Cause you don't have a lot of feedback. You don't have a feedback loop, right? So you could do this alone or you could do this together. And, and we would be happy and thrilled to have you guys come join us and to give you that personalized feedback. We're here to help dub users absolutely crush it with their videos. Um, so our goal is for you, help you create your sales process that you're empowered to continue scaling. This is building skills for life, right? Um, the big three automated follow-ups, getting those put in place for your business, having accountability and support to stay consistent. How often have you tried to get that gym membership going, but you don't have that consistency because you don't have like a support buddy, uh, a workout buddy. Like that is what we are for you guys. Um, a growing email list growing faster than it's growing currently for you. And we've got some methods and means for helping you do that. And then to two to 10 extra revenue. I know that's a range, but that's because it depends on where you're at currently in your business, but that is our goal for you. Um, so that's why we created the story selling mastermind. It's, it's everything you need to succeed. Um, and mostly it's because it's such direct personalized feedback. So here's what you get by joining us. You're going to get all the step-by-step -step lessons and guides. It's broken down into six modules. It's everything. If you look at the screenshot here, step one, step two, step three, you can actually click that and jump to that part of the video and you're immediately taking action. This is everything from, I mean, deeply the tech of setting up, like this is building your video funnel, 
how to set up the form, how to redirect the form, how to tag the people. We've got building automations. We've got what to consider for prospecting. So these are the things here, um, building your offer videos, right? Your tech foundations, creating your story bank. So you can start to become familiar with the stories that you need to turn on those light bulbs, uh, building your profile funnel, your video funnel creation, like understanding how to build more funnels fast. Like Lynn, I think you've told me before, you can probably think of sketch and build a funnel in about 15 minutes now. I think that's a really long time, honestly. <laughs> Every time you say 15 minutes today, I'm like, it doesn't take that long, really, Paige. Okay. So, all right. Awesome. And you don't, you don't have to agonize all over all those other things you do on other funnel builders. Plus we've seen the statistics are absolutely crushing it. Um, so your prospecting automations, your onboarding and your exporting. So we have all the lessons, but I'm not going to lie to you. Sometimes people have all the lessons at their disposal and they still don't watch them, which is why we have milestone reviews. So we encourage you to get through each of the six milestones so that each of the six milestones, we can actually review everything you've built. Now, this means when you actually have a video on that page, we will watch it second for second, every single minute of that video. And we will give you a video back with a personalized video review. Like how many of you think that that would help if you actually had personalized video coming back, giving you a advice for how to make things better? Not only that, of course, it's weekly mastermind calls. So we we get together every single Tuesday and we meet for as long as it takes. This is an example of some of our calls. Um, talking about things that are going on. It's all about you. So you give us your updates. What are you working on? It's a small group environment. We screen share parts of the tech. If you're using Dub plus other platforms, I think we're one of the only masterminds where I can comfortably say after building in about 30 different software platforms, I can help you with any tech stack. And I'm happy to. Um, this is us drawing on an iPad, right? That thing I was talking about where it's a unique messaging for your uh, automation sequences, right? So that's just an example of some of the things we do on a weekly basis to make sure that it's all about you. In between calls, you have access to a community forum that we check daily, Monday through Friday. So you can put any questions in there. You can submit You can submit things that you're working on. You can ask about headlines. You can ask about unique you know, mechanisms that you're working on for your, for your offers. You can ask about pricing, right? And we're not going to stop there because I have personally paid for over 60 or $70,000 at this point. I've lost track. I used to have this logos of all the, all the online courses and programs I ever bought. At one point at my height, I paid 15 grand to a program where they wouldn't even watch my webinar video that they told me to create. They wouldn't give me personalized feedback. And I thought, I'm never going to do that to people. We're going to give you everything you possibly need. So as a bonus, I know I'm moving really fast, but if you're like, hey, I get it. Uh, this makes sense. As a bonus, you have direct chat. Is There's voice support like Voxer. It's all in the same member portal that you get access to. And you can ask anything Monday through Friday directly to myself, directly to Lynn, in a three-way chat with the two of us, to your other peers. You have direct chat access as a bonus. Uh, oops, I'm going the wrong way. Um, here's the other bonus. I thought, okay, six milestone and fully watching all of your videos. Sometimes I will watch a five or six minute video of yours and it takes me another 30 minutes to give you piece by piece feedback to make it infinitely better. And one video alone we've already seen can generate you 20,000, 31,000, depending on what you sell. Um, we've decided to unlock unlimited video reviews. We've called it ongoing video reviews. Anytime you have a video, we're either watching it on a mastermind call and reviewing it, or we will watch it on our spare time and send you back feedback. You can't go wrong when you get support at what you're actually creating on video. And that's, that's what we've decided to do. And then today's only bonus, Lynn and I came up with this this morning. We're going to give an additional $200 off if you're, if you're, if you're prepared to join us, right? So this is like the whole scheme of things. There's a couple of things I want to mention. It's for a three month commitment together. That's what you're going to get with us. But I put the little plus sign because we have members in currently, I think we have a, maybe a couple on this call who have been with us for well over uh, six months, some, some going on over a year and a half. Uh, they pay a very small monthly fee to stay a part of what we do because there's so much value in getting together every single week, having direct chat access, have you know having access to even more support. We have, it's just, it, it, for them, it makes sense. So my point is there are a lot of programs, they'll kick you out, you graduate, kumbaya, good luck on your way. Our point is if at the three month mark, you're still like heavily working on something and you want to step forward, you have a no brainer way to stay involved. And we would love to have you for the long run. Um, you grow as we grow and your success is our success. So um, I put some values on what I believe all of this is worth 
because of the things I've invested in before, the lack of support sometimes they've had, the times that I've been thrown into a faceless, nameless, you know, Facebook group of thousands upon thousands of people, like just the notion of what we do and how much value we provide, plus what Lynn and I both charge for our one-on-one -on -one coaching consulting separately outside of this mastermind and what I charge for my agency work. So, you know, I'm valuing this at 19,000. I know that some some of you guys might go, that's just a random number and that's fine. But I believe there's insane value here because what would you do if one video that we reviewed went and generated five new sales and your average ticket price is two grand, right? What would that be worth for you? What if you sell a $20,000 program and this helps you do that? So this is a personal question, what it's worth to you. To me, I look at it at USC. I went to the University of uh, Southern California for my master's program. It cost me on average $4,200 to take one class, a three credit hour class with a professor who was tenured with a, in a big lecture hall where you just submitted a term paper. None of that prepared me for what I needed to do to actually market my video. Not one of those classes did they give me personalized feedback that was going to help me build a life, right? Um, that's how I know if, if all we charged were 4,200, this is infinitely more valuable than my grad school classes. I hope some of those professors show up on one of my webinars someday. So I get to say that and they get to like know it. Do I see another SC hat? I mean, like Trojans fight on, right? Like 100%, I love that school. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? I know what we have and how much care and how much we pour into people is worth at least that amount, right? Um, and if you think about like what the cost of an MBA program, all those sort of things, you think about what other people are charging for coaching and having direct voice chat support. Um, I think you can probably guess maybe what you've, you feel like it's worth. We normally charge... 3,997. So 4K for this program. Today's price is 1997. It's the it's the price that we know is a no-brainer. And we really do hope you join us. Plus, um, as a today only bonus that expires tonight, you can get an additional $200 off with a coupon, which would bring you to 1797. Or if you're thinking, hey, I would really like a payment plan to make this a little bit more easy. You can start with uh, three payments of $797. If you use the $200 off coupon, you're going to get that first payment for $200 less. So for $597 today, before it expires at midnight, um, you can get started with us. You're going to get an immediate email that's going to bring you into the members area, and we're going to get to directly connect with you as soon as you're in. So we do hope that you'll join us. Um, to join, you just go to this address. Um, Lynn, maybe you could put that into our chat as well. Um, it's kismetideas.com forward slash join. Um, and if you use the coupon code action taker, you're going to get an additional $200 off. Um, screenshot this page if you want it, because if you still have questions, you can actually send me a text message to 502-912-1302. And I'm happy to text with you and answer any of your questions. I, I remember the day Lynn joined, she had a couple of extra questions and that was fine. If you If you get it, if you understand why just we wanted to be mindful of time at 60 minutes, but also there's so much more that Lynn and I want to share with you and help you personally with. We want to review the stuff you're working on. We want to improve upon it. We want to add more automations in for your business. And the only way for us to do that is to have you in this kind of a container, this kind of a program. If you understand that, then jump in and join us, right? Um, the coupon for the $200 off ends tonight because that's action taker. We just want to know the types of people that are going to want to take action right now do it. And then the discounted price from 1997 going up to our regular price that we've already we've already charged for this program at 3997, that discounted price we've decided to give you until an extended deadline until November 10th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we did that because we know that today is the first of the month and you know sometimes you need just a couple more days in the month to rearrange things and get going. But the one thing I will say to you is that the longer you wait, the longer you're waiting on your results. You may be in a spot on Tuesday of, of this coming week where you get on a call with us and you show us something you've been working on and we give you that tweak that's going to land your next sale. So don't wait if you know that you need this and you know that this makes sense for you. Um, so I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Ruben. I know we're at the top of the hour. We'll stick around for as many questions as you have. Um, and I just want to say thank you for all of this because it's it's a sincere passion. Running my agency has been amazing because I help all these clients do this stuff. Um, but you know, being being there hands on 
with the folks that we're helping, the smaller business owners that are like, hey, just help me record this next video that's going to, you know, change my life and my family's life. It's truly rewarding and fulfilling. It's so true. Uh, Paige, thank you so much. Um, huge shout out to the entire Dub team. Um, shout out to Lynn for writing this book. I love this book, Lynn. Thank you so much. Three great words that Lynn quotes in her book is, I am willing. And I think what Lynn is talking about is this idea of mindset and that it all starts with a choice. So I think everyone by now is sold on the idea of video, sold on the idea of automation and how it can scale ourselves and effectively clone ourselves. I mean, how many times have you said, I wish I could clone myself? Well, now you can. <laughs> and that's with video and automation. So Paige, thank you so much. Um, for this super, super juicy and super educational educational webinar. It was really, really beneficial. We recorded this entire thing and we are going to be publishing this on the YouTube Dub Support channel. So please subscribe to that channel so you can get the bump and you can get that link. Um, if you want a free copy of my book, click record. Just put Ruben's book or book in the comments and we'll get you out uh, a version of that. Um, it's this is stories. Uh, this is war stories. And, you know, I, I reference actually paid one of Paige's stories in here. So, uh, you know, consider grabbing that book for free. It's there's no charge. There's no shipping charge or anything. We're just going to send it to you because we love you. <laughs> um, if there's any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you guys have, let's stick around. Let's do a little QA session here. Um, officially, the webinar is over, but we really encourage you to come jump on stage, you know, be a brave soul. Turn your video on if you want and ask us a question. You can also do it in the chat. Um, I think one of the things that Paige mentioned was this idea of getting over the fear of being on video. And I have to tell you guys, public speakers and really good video creators, they all have one thing in common. They probably were terrified of it before they started. And they realized that there was so much value that they had to push 10 times harder than everyone else. And when they pushed 10 times harder than everyone else, they realized that the results that they were getting were 10 times greater. And I can say that because that's exactly how I used to be. I was terrified to be on video. I was terrified to be on camera. I thought everything had to be pristine, picture perfect lights and cameras and, and everything. Uh, I'm from LA for crying out loud. So we're surrounded by this stuff, right? But what I realized was that the most important thing that we can do is to share authentic stories, to make connections with people, to be vulnerable and to show people that we are present and that we are, my friends. So let's get some questions. Let's get some comments. Um, go Trojans. Huge shout out, shout out to Troy, my man. Thank you for those concerts. I'm going to see you at the next concert. <laughs> You're always good and telling me what's what's playing. Shout out to all the people in the audience. Um, love my Russ. Appreciate you, Russ Johns. Russ, if you could put your link also in the chat, that would be cool. Um, anyone else, anyone else that has something to offer, now's a good chance to put your link in the comments. This is a community, so we're trying to raise all boats here. That's what this is all about. Um, questions and comments, let's go. Nice, nice, awesome. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a comment from Rhett's. Um, I have the dub, I have the dub pro. Would I have to update my account to do automation? I do believe that's in the dub pro plus plan, so yes. Yeah, we can also, guys, add um, automation to a pro plan. If you guys, with the reason we package the pro plus with the uh, automations is because exactly what, what Paige described here today, if it's your first time building out an automated sequence, you usually want some guidance there. You want someone to say, okay, well, based on your business, your opportunity, the timing of these contacts that are going into these workflows, You'll want to know things like cadence and how often you should be sending these videos. If there should be behavioral switches, like if then sort of branches, you'll typically want someone to look that over for you. And so that is that is where our Pro Plus plan comes in. Um, however, if you are working with someone like Paige, if you are have done something like this before, then we can definitely add the Pro plan to your, or sorry, add the automation plan to your Pro account. Um, and in fact, if anyone's looking to to do just that, we'll have a special offer for you to try out automations um, in your business to get started. And then once things are built out and you're like, all right, my systems are complete, then you can uh, continue from there. So nice. Nice. That's and, awesome. And just to go full circle, you know, the way that we, one of the ways that we got you in this webinar is we talked about this idea of a video pocket funnel or a pocket video funnel. And I think I just want to, I really want to kind of explain how easy it is to actually do this. If I have the Dub mobile app open, 
And if I have created a script and if I'm using the teleprompter, it's really easy for me to record that video. Now I can use the Dub mobile app, I can use the Dub Chrome extension, I can use the Dub desktop app, which is so robust now, you guys. I encourage you to get the Dub desktop app. We're working so hard on that to make it as easy as using, probably easier than using iMovie or, or a simple video editor that you've, do, that you've used in the past. Whatever it is that you're doing, capture that video and then from that is the birth of an automation because every video that you create on Dub gets an automatic video landing page. So once you have a video landing page, you can put that into an automation. You can send a video email campaign out, SMS campaign, the sky is the limit. Um, let's get some questions, guys. And you can um, you can also text Paige. Paige, what service do you use for that? Uh, well, it's uh, Twilio. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Um, of course, so, use the most technical thing that you can possibly use. You got to use that because well, you're a simple. nerd like me. I'm a nerd, but it's simple. Um, you know, <laughs> I think I think what you said too is great. Like, it can be easy to hear all of those things. You know, yeah. You you get the instant video. You create the pocket funnel. You you automate the follow up. It's it's one thing to hear it, and it's another thing to have somebody actually walk through it with you for your unique business. So that's, you know, just to kind of reiterate, that's why Lynn and I created what we created. Cause I remember Ruben, you reached out to me, uh, maybe it was my fifth or sixth month using dub. And you said, you're a power user. I don't know how you're recording all these videos and like what all the traffic that's landing on your pages. And, you know, just tell me a little bit more, more about how you're using it. And, right. you know, I was like, well, I come from this click funnels and funnel building background and I'm just using these as like really, really fast funnels. And yeah. I remember you saying, wow, that's so interesting. And, and when I share this, I've shared this presentation, Lynn and I have shared this presentation dozens of times. And I think it's really easy to hear it go, oh, I made some new synaptic connections. That sounds like a great idea, but then not take any action because you don't actually have help baked in. So that's yeah. why I help people. Um, yeah, so this is awesome. Um, somebody asked again what that number was. So I put it in the chat, my text number. You can text me 502-912-1302. Find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram, send me a message, Paige Batcher. That's why I'm listed as my personal name. You can, you can, I'm Googleable. <laughs> you can find me. Um, and I would love to connect with you guys. If you're hey, watching, somebody asked in the chat about, yeah. um, how to know if this is right for their business. Talk a little bit about what we think are the businesses that this is really, that our story selling mastermind is really for. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's really for anyone who has a service-based business coaching, consulting, real estate professionals, um, service-based providers. If you're a graphic designer or web designer, um, any of those service-based types of businesses, it's really useful for. Now, can you use it for other businesses? Absolutely. Um, if you're a plumber, you integrate video into your outreach, you are changing the game for local businesses because other businesses are not doing that. But we've worked with all kinds of people. We've worked with consultants. We've worked with recruiters. We've worked with weight loss professionals. We've worked with all kinds of companies who it doesn't work for. Um, we actually had a gentleman who really wanted to join and we just flat out said like, I don't think this is the right method for you. He was selling physical widgets with about a dollar or two margin. We don't, that's sure video is going to absolutely help, but that's a different ball game. If you're selling anything that's averaging $500 upwards to $50,000, this will absolutely help you. And we would love to actually look at your specific video or your specific business, talk to you and help you figure out what to record next and what automations to put in place. I actually wanted to put a question out there. What, what are some of the big challenges that you guys are dealing with right now? I mean, what, What's the friction point? You know, is it is it the, the mindset stuff? Is it the soft skills? Is it being comfortable being on video? Is it getting over the hurdle of actually, um, you know, building and um, starting to figure out how you can automate your business? Is it making the financial commitment to working with a coach, with an expert, someone like Paige and Lynn to help you? Is it uh, the idea? I mean, what 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 are we missing here? I'd love to yeah. I'd love to get some friction points because that is where we. That's where we improve our process. That's where we improve our coaching, but it's also where we improve the technology because think about it. A lot of the times technology can solve some of these problems. Like I remember when, when Rob, um, Rob bots from our team, when he started to coach me on video, because he has a great background in video using video, using the teleprompter, and then just co feeling comfortable using the teleprompter. I remember that was an unlock. And I said, well, if that's benefiting me, then we want to deploy that to everyone that's using dub 
80,000 people have signed up to Dub since we've started. I have no idea how many people are using the teleprompter by now, but I sure hope that, you know, the vast majority of them at least have tried it because it's such an unlock for people. So technology can solve certain problems, but we need to know about what those problems are. So, uh, so, so throw them at us right now. Yeah. Well, you, you just gave a very comprehensive list. We find that it's different for different people. Sometimes it's people, it's the tech, um, just getting like over that hump of, Oh, if I hit record and here's how you do it. And this is a Chrome extension. Some people it's that, um, some people it's, Oh my gosh, I'm overwhelmed with automations just because I'm letting my mind be too, too cluttered. And they just need a conversation on here's what it can look like. Here's what you're going to create. Here's what you're going to focus on. Um, by and large though, the, the notion of what to say on camera is a huge friction point because there's nothing worse than recording a video. How many people watch their own videos? You know, I've, I've Lynn's recorded over 2,300 videos. I've recorded thousands of thousands of videos. I've watched back probably 60% of them because I want to get better at what I'm saying and how I'm connecting with people. So sometimes you can't understand what you're missing, what you might be saying, right? You're saying bomb on an airplane. It's like, whoa, you just... You just, it, you just scared your people away. Like you just scared them away. You didn't even realize you did that, right? Some some of you might be underselling yourself. You're not comfortable with, with the humble brag that is required in order to get people to pay attention and pay premium prices. Um, some of you are sounding like a robot and doing the same thing you've seen just because monkey see, monkey do, right? Like we, we all fall prey to that, but you're like, do, do you suffer from anxiety? <laughs> do you need to get a pile of cash? Do you want cash big checks? And you before you know it, you're just not even yourself anymore, which is what's so powerful about showing up every single week. And we've had the ability to look at people and go, Brian, that's not even how you talk. Why did you record something like that, right? Or, hey, did you think about saying this or saying that? Now, I saw something in the chat really here that caught my attention. I'm putting out videos with my CTAs are not working. Truth. Because how many people are asking you to just schedule a Zoom call? And are you actually putting enough value on that scheduling, right? So stuff like that. You know, we had an example this week of a client who was saying, um, just book a call with me. It's totally free. I'm not going to sell you anything. Red flag. And, you know, I'm going to help you get results. General doesn't make any sense, right? So we switched it up for him. I gave him a brand new idea. I said, you're selling them something right here, right? Okay. Why don't you actually tell them they can book the call? So as soon as they complete the things you just sold them, that you're actually going to help them rehearse and give them personalized feedback. We've had consultants where we switch the model into book a call if you're interested to, I will give you a personalized audit. I will, I will, you know, it depends on your business, but I think it's that notion of what's going to separate you from the pack and what is it that you know but you're not actually saying. Yeah. And, you know, I want to just add this. I think um, you can read the comment in the chat about my CTAs aren't working. And I, I bet you Darius read that and thought, oh, something's broken in the tech. And you and I both read it and thought, how are you selling to click the button? Right. <laughs> right? Like, what are you doing to convince people to click the button? So, yeah. You know, it depends on what you mean by that question, but there there are answers to all of that, right? You have amazing support from Dub, and we love to think that we're there to to give that kind of handholding to, it goes back to what to say on video. You just said it, Paige, right? That's the, it comes around to that, even for people who've been with us for a long time. You know, they're constantly doing new videos. We just reviewed a video this week for a client who's been with us for a long time and 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 he kind of was mind blown with you know oh i guess i should have known to do that but it's so hard to look at ourselves isn't it i i find that still true for me as well it's you know i watch my videos too page but having that support of someone to give you that feedback is just beyond invaluable to me yeah yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, well, I'm seeing a couple of other questions here in the chat. Um, Michael says, I'm a real estate agent in Germany. Do you think your program can help me? Uh, apparently you speak you speak English as well. So you're bilingual, which is 
amazing. That's so cool. Um, and uh, so, yes, I, we know it would help. Um, but this, you made a good point. Your videos would be in the German language. So reviewing them would not be as easy. And you could do it with English subtitles. Um, I think that's your call. We'd absolutely be willing to help. Our All of our mastermind calls will be hosted in English. And just some of the ideas you can gather by talking with us directly and having us understand your business would absolutely serve you. Um, so yeah, that's a really unique use case, but we would be happy to help. And um, and if we're not helpful, we're going to point you in the better direction. But I have a really good sense that we can help support you. Um, Francois says, if the market new to me is getting booked on stages, the message would be important. Oh, 100%. Um, and the places you send it as well, if not more important, does the course help on that or does it need agency help? Hope this makes sense. Uh, Lynn, do you understand this question a little bit more than I do? Yeah, I think, uh, and Francois, feel free to unmute and clarify, but uh, definitely we help with messaging 100% all day long, bring the messaging and get feedback and get help creating. Um, definitely we talk about the strategy of where to send the things you create. We're not just talking about create your video. We're talking about what are you going to do with it? right? What's the strategy behind this? So we're definitely talking about um, what you do with those videos as well. And then, um, you know, I want to say this because the question says, will the course help with that? So the Story Selling Mastermind definitely includes this incredible, robust course. But the real magic here is the weekly mastermind meetings because the course exists and you can go through it step by step, but I'll tell you, most people don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they come to the weekly meetings and, and a client who's been in the mastermind for a year and a half this week asked a question and we said, well, if you need to go back and look at module three, <laughs> you'll find the answer to that question. And let's review it here and talk about the strategy around how to do that. But module three is sitting there kind of, like as the background support for between calls. So you have it documented how to do things. The course part is really the documentation that gives you kind of this incredibly robust. I mean, I've had people say to me, if you didn't have the mastermind, if all you had was this incredible course, it's a $5,000 course. But we, the real, real sweet, juicy part is the weekly masterminds where we just roll up our sleeves and dig into your stuff and help you get it done. Yeah. So, so Francois, I mean, to kind of, to talk about that too, we would find your ideal list if you don't already have them in your database. I mean, we've, we've looked at, like I said, I'm a huge nerd. So we look at tools like Apollo IO being able to go find that list. It's unique for everybody's business, which, which is why it is a mastermind. So everything that Lynn said, we have all of the course in there, but we don't rely on you to watch it. We are meeting you where you're at and we're going to help you move forward with a plan uh, and reviewing every one of your videos and your landing pages along the way. Um, which kind of leads into Owen, what Owen was saying, the friction that he feels like he might experience is having our program, learning the ins and outs of dub could equal information and technology overload. And I really want to speak to this information overload has been a thing that the digital marketing world has been doing and throwing on people. They're like, you get 900 hours of video. You should buy this thing. It's amazing that's overload. That's overwhelming, right? We want you to actually get results because your wins are our wins. Um, so first and foremost, it's, it's built to be streamlined so that you're learning a skill that's repeatable and you can move forward with. It's not built to be an encyclopedia that is tiresome to get through. Um, technology overload. I do want to talk about this a little bit. Um, we used to have to record something on some kind of camera, take it off of a SIM card, put it into somewhere, convert it to the right file size, upload it somewhere, find a page builder. Like the list goes on and on and on. And so this is, we do a little bit of tough love. Like if you're not willing, right, to walk with us as we walk you through click by click of this platform, then you're kind of missing the fact that Dub is more simple than any other software you could be using to achieve the same outcome or better. So we want to encourage you that it would be overload if we told you to go get a, you know, high level or click funnels account and good luck have at it, right? 
but we've got click by click tutorials. And this is really important is that on our calls, if you're like, Hey, just remind me how to do that thing. And we can screen share and show you in two minutes. We're not going to just send you back to go find some video on the internet to figure it out. We're actually just going to show you again. That way, when you need it, when it clicks, when you're taking that next, next action, you've got the answer. So, um, so I hear you, Owen, and I'm so grateful that you decided to, you know, really offer that up because that is true. Every time you look at buying something, you're thinking two things. One, am I actually going to accomplish this? Am I going to do it? And I'm telling you, Lynn and I will message you if we don't see you on those calls, because we're here to help you take action. And number two, right. Is it going to just be too much, right? Am I going to get, am I going to get my return on my investment by taking action instead of being overloaded? And that is the whole point and purpose. We had one woman join us. Her name is Erica and she paid at the full, the full price, right? Our standard price. She joined, she had no idea what she was going to sell. And because on our mastermind call, you know, one afternoon, I was like, who's got questions? Who got, what are you working on? Who's got questions? Oh, we got a little bit of downtime. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a presentation that I created on video, putting some Canva PowerPoint slides together. And I just made a 10 grand sale. Who would like to see that? We showed it off. And Erica was so into this idea that she took it and went and made eight grand in the next two weeks, Right. She was like, can I get that template? I'm just clicking. I'm screen sharing. I'm like, here you go. Here's the Danielle, handle. She did not know what she was going to sell. No idea. She signed yeah. up for story selling. She didn't know um, what she was selling. She talked yeah. about try to make an offer brief. She didn't have an offer. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so, where she landed. Yeah. So sometimes it's helpful to just see people in action, yeah. see what they're doing, and then just borrow the resources, like just get into mo to momentum. So that's been really good for her. So thank you. That's all really, really good. Uh, Michael asked, I understand that the program runs for three months. How much time per day, per week is it necessary to successfully implement the program? Okay, great question. I love this. Um, you're going to plan on joining us for at least 90 minutes every Tuesday. Come to the calls. It's so valuable. Like if all you got were the calls, it's still a $2,000 value over three months. It's, I mean, it's absolutely amazing. We're there every single week. We're screen sharing. We're talking a lot where your cameras are on. Like that, it is a group to be a part of. Um, so there's that. The time commitment on every day necessary to successfully implement the program, I think it depends on your price point. Like do the math. You're like, hey, if, if I sell an average ticket price for $2,000 and I want to make $10,000 a month, that's five sales. If we can break it down for you, your strategy, and you're like, oh, I'm sending out 10 videos a day and I'm making those five sales a month and that only takes me three hours a, a week, like great, right? Or if you're like, hey, I'm wanting to build something even more infinite. Like to me, it's you put in what you're going to get out. Um, and I love to do a little bit of outreach math for us to figure out like, where do you want to fall? How much energy do you want to put into this? How often do you want to be working on this? And I think Lynn might suggest like, when you get into action on this, it's going to feel like the thing to do, not like the extra thing that you could be doing. So, yeah, uh, that's, that's a powerful way to think about it, Paige. It's, yeah. it is the thing to do, not the extra thing to do when it comes to building your business. Once you really kind of just yeah. get clear and start putting these, the things you saw outlined today, um, into practice and taking that scrappy imperfect action at the beginning you know and and i think somebody said it earlier confidence comes from taking action it you know god forbid you should watch one of my first 125 videos <laughs> but you know it you do it and you do it and you do it and it gets easier and easier and i don't you know I, I just can't tell you the difference. I know I would not be um, where I am today. Uh, and my business might not have survived lockdown without Dub and all I learned here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I really love this. I'm going to, I'm going to drop the link one more time. I'll encourage you to join us. Um, Lynn and I have huge hearts. So if you're like, you get in and you're just like, I don't know. Um, I'm quitting my business and I'm going to go get a full-time job. We're going to be like, okay, let's just, let's just settle up and make sure that you're cool. But if you're serious about your business and you know, you need this, 
please join us because we are going to walk with you. We're going to learn everything. About- we will get off of our calls and then talk about everybody's business. Okay. So so-and-so is working on this and they're doing this. How can we bring more value to them on the next call? So please do this. Um, I dropped the link again. If you're watching the YouTube replay and you have made it this far in this replay, um, it's Kismet Ideas, K-I-S-M-E-T-I-D-E-A-S.com forward slash join. And if you're seeing this after we already brought it up to standard prices, but you watched this long of a replay, just message me on Facebook or send me a text 502-912-1302. Okay. Um, use coupon code action taker only for those of you guys in the room right now. So if you're still on this zoom call, you can use action taker. It's going to expire tonight. That's going to get you an additional 200 off. Um, Retta asked once we pay the fee, when do we start the following week or ASAP? You actually start ASAP. You're going to get an automated automation email that's going to get you into the member portal, which you saw has the community forum, all the lessons, the direct chat, get in there immediately and start chatting with us. We're going to ask you questions. I'm going to probably voice note you or send you a video and say, Hey, what's your business doing? What are you working on? Let's get you a game plan. And your first story selling mastermind call with us will be this coming Tuesday. So um, absolutely. I just wanted to say, guys, I put a little, uh, I mentioned the offer for the automation upgrade that awesome. is in the chat as well. So you guys can use the code automation 50, and that's going to save you 50% off of the monthly automation program so that you guys can take advantage of that, uh, perhaps during pages, um, program here. So that's, available. yeah, we would love that. We would love that. So, uh, their automation builder, I think awesome. Darius has, has, uh, insisted that some of the developers build some things that I personally requested. So it gets better and better all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and more and, stuff coming always too. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, and we just walked through that again yesterday on a call. Like we'd be, we'd love to show you guys, help you sketch it out, help you, help you build your whole plan. Um, so let's I see saw a new feature today. I was so excited about the preview on the email from the video editing page. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, there, Yay, Darius. <laughs> nice. Cool stuff, guys, coming to down, down the road. You know, we're, we're always in the kitchen here. So. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I so love this. Fun. Just a couple more. And I'm sure we all got to jump onto the next calls. But uh, Steve said, can I just take a pill to talk like Paige? That's very <laughs> flattering. Thank you. Um, <laughs> maybe just, uh, you know, we'll just get the reps in, you know, it's like, I feel like it's like shooting free throws. We'll, we'll get you there. Don't worry. Um, Francois says, great presentation. Got to jump off. Okay, great. Talk to you later. And then um, I need some assistance knowing what Pro Plus or automation will cost as an original AppSumo customer. I'm thinking maybe message Darius. Yeah, Camille, come to come to the support at dub.com. We'll figure out how many uh, AppSumos you had and stuff like that and, and give you the, the difference there. So that support at dub.com, guys, goes to that little chat bubble we have on the website. And we're there all throughout the day um, answering people. So. Awesome. Um, Thanks, guys. That puts us at uh, three o'clock Pacific. Awesome session. Um, this was recorded. We're going to publish this page, Lynn. Thank you guys so much. Awesome. Thank you. Just tons of gratitude for you guys. Thank you so um, much. On to the next one, you guys. We're going to, um, if you want to put your final link in there, uh, Paige, just throw that in there just so people have uh, final access to that. And then um, thank you for the interest for my book. We're going to get you copies, <laughs> copies of that book. And if you're interested in upgrading your dub account, put uh, one in the comments if you've made it this far. It seems like most of the people that registered for this webinar already have an upgraded account, but we'd like to give you our best offer and just make sure that you guys get VIP support. Thank you guys. Awesome. See you at the next webinar. Love it. See you guys. Take care. Bye.